the top stories. Police issue a caution about taking cash to and from the bank following a morning attack. The price of sand has dropped due to the intervention of the FTC. And West Indies women suffer a whitewash in Australia. Welcome to Nation News from Monday, November 10th, 2014. I'm Natasha Beckles. No matter where you are in the world, at home or abroad, Nation News keeps you connected with what's happening in Barbados. Through our website, video newscast, and online e-papers. So stay connected with Nation News. Your news, your time, your way. Police are advising business owners and individuals to be more vigilant when transporting cash. The call came this afternoon following a robbery at Coconut Walk Hastings Christ Church near to Scotia Bank. Police say a man was about to enter the bank when he was attacked by a masked man. The victim was struck on his head with an object and an undisclosed sum of money was stolen. He was taken to the Queen Elizabeth Hospital by ambulance. Acting Assistant Superintendent David Welch advised individuals transporting cash to vary pickup and delivery times daily and to have more than one person escort the cash. He also cautioned against carrying canvas money bags or those marked with the name of a bank. And now, some good news for those of you building a home. The Fair Trading Commission has found that an 85% increase in the price of sand earlier this year was excessive and unreasonable. And supplier Island Developments Limited has complied with the request to reduce its prices. Back in March, the company, which is the dominant supplier of wholesale sand in Barbados, increased its price from $22.70 to $42.01 per ton. The move took homeowners, truckers and construction companies by surprise and many voiced disapproval. Now in a decision issued Monday, FTC Chairman Neville Nichols said the regulatory body had reviewed the matter and directed the company to reduce its price to a level that bears a more reasonable relationship to its underlying costs. The price is now $37 per ton. Businesses will now be able to join the City of Bridgetown Cooperative Credit Union. This was revealed on Monday by President Christopher Oliver, who said the Financial Services Commission had recently approved a request to amend the credit union's bylaws. Groups, clubs and charities are also now eligible to become members. Mr. Oliver made the comments during the launch of Portico, a furniture and interior accessories fair hosted by COB, the Barbados Manufacturers Association, and the Barbados Investment and Development Corporation. The six-week expo and sale will be held in Building No. 8 in the Spring Garden Industrial Estate. Fort Valley State University in Georgia, the United States, is on a mission to boost its international student ratio. A group of university officials kicked off a Caribbean tour here in Barbados on Monday, with President Dr. Ive Law Lloyd Griffith sharing what he hoped to gain from the visits. We've got a robust set of research programs, and I'd like to make some of what we have available in the research and the extension part available to countries in the region and elsewhere that have an interest in agriculture, have an interest in food security, have an interest in the things where we've got some competencies, where we've got some strength. So the idea is to begin to build the collaboration with countries starting with Barbados. And while we're here, we're going to be talking with uh, Codrington College, which as some of you know, plans to establish a school of agriculture. We'll be talking with the University of the West Indies. We'll be talking later on with a variety of stakeholders. This is an intent to do a variety of collaborations, setting the stage to get students to come, to get students to visit but also to tap the wealth of our expertise and capabilities at our university. Barbados war heroes were remembered on Sunday as scores of onlookers gathered for the annual Remembrance Day Parade and Wreath Lane Ceremony at Hero Square in the city. During the hour-long event, political, diplomatic, legal and military leaders laid floral tributes at the foot of the cenotaph. Among those outfitted for the parade were the island's armed units, including the Barbados Regiment, the Barbados Coast Guard, and the Royal Barbados Police Force, along with a number of unarmed units. Sunday was a day to show your love. That's what a number of nation staffers did when the company staged a motorcade through Goodland, Deacons, and Black Rock in St. Michael, as well as Haynesville and Paynes Bay in St. James. The heavy showers did nothing to stop the sunny smiles of both participants and onlookers. The Show Your Love Mordecade was one of several activities planned as the nation celebrates its 41st year in business. 
The initiative was conceptualized out of a concern about the increasing incidence of violent acts. In sport, West Indies women slumped to an eight-wicket defeat to Australia women on Sunday, resulting in an embarrassing whitewash in the four-match 2020 international series. Opting to bat first, they were kept to 107 for seven of their 20 overs. Australia overhauled the total in 14.1 overs, scoring 111 for two. The series result confirmed the Windies women's poor form on the road, following on from a similar whitewash against New Zealand in the 2020 and one-day tour at the start of the year. And finally, a New York woman celebrated her 100th birthday by taking a big leap. She went skydiving. Eleanor Cunningham kissed her seven-month-old great-great-granddaughter, then suited up for her third jump after taking up the sport at age 90. And that's Nation News for Monday. For more, log on to nationnews.com as well as YouTube, Facebook and Twitter and get your daily nation on Tuesday.